guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in my backyard and I want to try to answer a question. What really is that great ultimate, maybe almost perfect, three row crossover SUV? And what I have for you is this 2020 Mazda CX-9 Signature Series. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Mazda history real quick. Mazda, been around since the 1920s. They made cork before they made cars. Their first car was in the 1930s. It was actually a truck, a three-wheel pickup truck. From that moment on, things were about to change for Mazda. And really what made their name around the world was the rotary-powered engine. Even to the point to where they went on to win the coveted 24 Hours Le Mans with that rotary-powered engine. They were the first Japanese car company to do that. Well, guess what? Times have changed. People's tastes have changed. And one thing that people crave, like people craving candy, is they crave a three-row SUV, the mid-sized three-row SUV. And that segment right now is on fire. It's like somebody took 93 octane and just poured it everywhere and lit a match. This CX-9 is Mazda's competitor to go up against cars, SUVs like the Telluride, the Palisade, the Honda Pilot, so on and so forth. What Mazda is trying to stress is that they want to bring not only style, they also want to bring that driving enjoyment. Even though you're driving a little bit larger vehicle, they still want the driver to be enjoying the actual act of driving. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 CX-9 because they've actually made a few updates and that same driving engagement is there. Right off the bat, the one thing that makes you say this is a Mazda is that it is featured in that sole red color. So this is an optional color, beautiful dark red in the sun, really pops. And I'm telling you, nobody does this color better than Mazda. You can see the uh, signature style headlight design. They do very, very small headlight housings, full LED headlight with the LED, LED daytime running lamp. What I'm liking is notice how the trim extends into the actual housing. It gives it a really great perspective when you're looking at it head on. And I'm, I'm thinking that that is really a great design element. Now, as we drop down, we do have a little bit of a zonk. This fake vent here. I wish instead of having the LED fog lamp, have this be the LED fog lamp. I think that would have been the better decision. But the good news is it's very, very small. So we'll, we'll call it a half a zonk. What I really think was smart is they took some of this chrome trim, brought it into the lower section, and then that's what's gonna bring us all the way across because what's happening from those headlights is gonna drop down into the grill. You have your horizontal slots, nice brush aluminum look to it, that massive Mazda logo with a forward-facing camera. And I really think that when it comes to just style, the way the hood and the front fascia kind of slopes down, it makes the vehicle not look as large as maybe some of the competitors. Another thing, this grill design is actually mimicking what the Mazda emblem is all about. A Little bit of flat black, and then the chrome, like I said, goes from one end to the other. Looks very, very cohesive. Now, when you pop up onto the hood, you're gonna see some nice touches. The body lines start on that front fascia, go into the hood, and I like the way they stay prominent all the way to the A-pillar. We come around this beautiful Soul Red Signature Series CX-9. Little bit of flat black, nothing too bad with the, the cladding wheels. You would think they're simple and they would be bland, but I'm telling you, with the color, really, really works well. That multi-spoke wheel. I love the nice, uh, almost like brushed aluminum finish. 20-inch wheels, so you definitely get a lot of space taken up with the wheel and that's a 50 series sidewall so you're still going to get a really really good ride as you're going down the road we go into the fender treatment everything has a nice flow no fake vents or any of that garbage we got color match caps with the nice slim and trim led they decided to take the chrome down along the bottom from the front that really is going to follow us all the way to the back you have the silver trim around both top and bottom of the windows and you have the nice aluminum, almost like, a, like I said, that brushed aluminum look for the roof rails and you can get crossbars. I'm six feet tall. You can see the size of the CX-9. We keep working our way back. Nice shape to their quarter windows. 
very, very clean lines. And then we get to the rear, there's that signature Mazda stuff still going on. I think nobody's doing taillights better in the regular car segment than Mazda. LED taillights, nothing too large, but they're so bright at night. That CX-9 badging, this is a signature series with all-wheel drive. I guess you could call it the John Hancock of the Mazda lineup with the CX-9. Very, very flat and short roof spoiler. And then when you come down, like I said, they brought the chrome. Chrome across the midsection. We keep dropping down. Chrome across the lower section. And look, it's still possible. Real exhaust tips that actually have real sound that come out of them. Not decorative. And they're definitely not fake. And I like the way that it's nice and balanced, one on each side. But why don't we pop the hood? Because I'm telling you, you're going to see a surprise that's going to make you scratch your head. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. We got the hood popped. On a large vehicle, I'm definitely going to zonk that prop rod. There should be no prop rod on a vehicle this size. Should have the hood struts, but I do like the tasteful engine cover. The biggest surprise, and Tom's going to let the cat out of the bag, is going to be this one has a turbocharged engine. Now, before you get off your seat and jump up and down cheering, thinking it's a turbocharged V6 or something, it is not. This is actually a turbocharged 2.5 liter inline four. Now. I said earlier that you might scratch your head. Guess what? A lot of people say, why don't you go with a V6, at least a naturally aspirated V6? Mazda said there's no reason to, and the numbers are, are the thing that's telling. So you're looking at over 220 horsepower coming from that turbocharged 2.5 liter engine. It's all mated through a six speed automatic transmission. The great news is zero to 60, in 7.1 seconds. MPGs, 22 in the city, 28 on the highway. You could tow up to 3,500 pounds, and this vehicle weighs around 4,388 pounds. Like I said, it's nice to see a different take with the all-wheel drive. Having zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds sounds pretty potent. Let's go ahead and check out that interior because get ready to get your mind blown. All right, guys, we're behind the wheel on the interior of the 2020 Mazda CX-9. I know you're at that point where you're like, Joe, let the cat out of the bag. How much is this fully loaded signature series with all wheel drive? You're looking at a price MSRP around $47,000. Now, before you get upset or jump out of your seat, that pretty much falls in alignment with a fully loaded Palisade or a Telluride. They're a, maybe a couple grand cheaper, you go the Explorer route, the Ford Explorer route, a fully loaded Explorer, you're looking around $60,000. Let's see what you get for the money with the CX-9 Signature Series. To the door panels, I love what they've done with the material. Now, it may appear to be all just dark black material. It's not. It's a mixture of dark chocolate brown and dark material that's real wood around the switch gear for your windows and your door locks. It's got the optional Bose sound system. I love the silver trim and the contrast stitching. And that pocket down there, you could put plenty of Kit Kats that you don't have to share them with anybody. You could give them their own and you could have your own and have a bottle of milk down there. Soft touch up top and in the middle, like the shape of the AC vents, this nice aluminum trim all the way across is a really nice touch. That is all new for 2020. That's a nine inch infotainment system screen. It's actually touch screen, which is nice. And what's great about it is that for a lot of people, it's the older style, that rainbow style, which they seem to like that a little bit better than what's in the, the Mazda 3, but you got your full navigation and everything, real easy to get to. And if you don't want to reach and touch the screen, I'll show you another way to do it in a second. I like the way they put the start stop button right here. It's very conveniently placed. We drop down, heated steering wheel, heated seats, and ventilated seats, dual climate control, very nice click. Every time you turn the knob, it's got a nice click to it. There is a little bit of gloss black around the shifter, but not a big deal. We have a nice large pocket in here. You put your circus peanuts. You can fill this up with Skittles. Imagine how much tasting of the rainbow you're gonna do with this thing filled up with Skittles. Of course, you could also put your phone in there, but uh, you keep working your way back. This is gonna control your six-speed automatic transmission. I like the uh, silver finish on it. You got that Mazda switch button right here. This is that one that puts you into sport mode. That's going to adjust how the transmission behaves with the engine. Remember how I told you there's other ways to control your infotainment. You could go the button route here because see, look, I hit navigation and then there's the navigation or I could use the rotary knob. So now I'm twisting that knob 
and pressing down on whatever I want. And then when you come to the rainbow, see what I'm saying? So you could be eating your Skittles and tasting the rainbow and then also going through the rainbow of icons, which is a nice touch. That's your volume knob, electric e-brake. This is all wood, guys. Somebody just chopped this down nice, fresh, chopped down. Love the stitch work, that chocolate brown color, really, really sharp. Down here, what do we have? Look at that. There we have a nice hookup for your nine volt. Close that up. You got your two cup holders for 2020. Updated key fob. So that's the newer style key fob. It's sort of like a Zippo lighter. Very, very light. And I like the way the buttons are on the side. A little bit of silver trim. Here's that chocolate brown. Nice, soft with the stitch work. Open one door. You can get in there. Open two doors. You have two USBs and enough room. I would probably say if you stood your Twinkies up, you could probably get nine, nine Twinkies in there. So not too bad. Here's the real crescendo when it comes to the interior. The white piping, the stitch work, the Napa leather is so soft, heated, ventilated, and it's got all the controls conveniently placed. This one, you look up, just has a steering sunroof. What I would like to see for $47,000 is a full panoramic sunroof, but you do have the newer style frameless auto dimming mirror, which is a very, very classy touch. LED interior lights, which is also a nice touch. Get on behind the wheel over here. I want to show you behind the business end of the CX-9. All right, guys, business end of the Signature Series. You do have your two memory settings nicely placed on the side of the seat. Even the way they put the nice silver finish just shows that they really thought this vehicle out. You get to the steering wheel. I love the thickness of it. Very, very slim and trim. There's a dead plastic spot here, which I wish they would have just cut out. Um, but other than that, has a great thickness, no paddle. So if you want to, if you want to actually do manual shifting, you're going to have to have it in drive and then go down and up, which the good news is I like that pattern. You pull back, you go up a gear, you push forward, you go down a gear, slide it back over. You're now in automatic, put it back in the park dash. Now here's the cool thing. You have an analog tack and then an analog fuel gauge and cooling gauge, that thing in the center that looks like an analog speedometer is actually digital, and you could go through a plethora of information in that section, which is really nice. Plus, you're gonna have a nice MPG gauge, your fuel gauge um, as well, if you want, your range, so that's a nice setup, and you're getting a head-up display in here, which is wonderful to have all that information at a very, very easy glance iActive safety control has been all updated for 2020, and that's where you're gonna have your buttons conveniently placed over here for you to go into your camera views. Um, obviously, lane keep assist, all that uh, good safety tech. Seats, though, are great. Plenty of headroom. It does feel a little tight in here just because of how high the center console is, but comparing this to the competition, the wood finish, the silver trim, they really did a great job on it. Let's go ahead and check out the mid-row and see how your passengers are gonna like the 2020 CX-9. All right, guys, mid-row time. New stuff for 2020. So you got new for 2020, the captain's chairs with the center armrest in the Signature Series, that same wonderful Napa leather. Even, like I said, the backs all the way. Plus, you have two pockets. Think about this. You could put bananas and eat healthy in the bottom one and keep the Kit Kats and the Snickers in the top one. What a great way to go. Or of course you could put things like books or an abacus or maybe a mirror to look at yourself while you're driving down the road. So those are nice to have the two pockets. A Little bit of a command center here. You have your rear AC, all the controls nicely placed. This is up and out of the way. And then here's the new center console here. Two cup holders, heated seats. I am gonna zonk it, ventilated seats should be in this. You look at the Telluride, you look at the Palisade, they have mid-row ventilated seats. We open this up, you got your two USBs and plenty of storage. That actually goes down pretty far, so you could get that bigger bag of Doritos. Just make sure you got some nice wet wipes to clean your fingers, because I don't want you getting fingerprints all over this beautiful Napa leather. But seating position's great. If you don't like the seating position, you can slide the seat. Look at that, so seat slide. You know what the next thing is, right? Wow. Seats recline, so you could just chill while you're going down the road and just go to sleep. That's really wonderful in the CX-9. Let's check out the last piece of the puzzle, 
that third row and see how comfortable it is. All right, guys, like I said, one of the main reasons why you have families going after a mid-size SUV like this is for that three row capability. You may not have the seven kids that you you know load this vehicle up with, but well, maybe you have 10 kids. I don't know, maybe you're just laying them in the back. What's good though is maybe your kids have friends, possibly, and they wanna go with you to the movies. So here's how, you, how it all works. You're just gonna pull back very nicely, slides forward. Now my only zonk is that the landing pad is very small. Now they do give you a nice floor mat here, but we know that this is gonna get torn up with, with the kids' shoes getting in and out. But let's go ahead and, and climb on in. Ah, so you do have the nice leather back here, so it's super soft. My knees are a little bit on the higher side. Would I want to spend all day back here? No. But hey, I'll, I'll suck it up and take one for the team. If it means I get a free ticket at the movies, we'll do it. But the great news is USB on both sides. The bad news is no AC vents. So not only are you paying for my movie ticket, you're buying me popcorn, you're gonna buy me a drink, and you're gonna buy me some good and plenty because I'm gonna be a little hot by the time we get to the movie. So that is, to me, an issue, especially when it comes to crying kids and how they get cranky real fast. But let me pull the seat back because I'm sure you wanna see that happen. Not bad. I do have plenty of room for my knees, so I don't feel crushed, which is the good news. It's just gonna get a little warm back here, but. Other than that, let's go off to the movies. Let's check out that cargo area first and see how many Twinkies we can fit back there. All right, guys, time to check out the cargo area. The most important part of any SUV, you press the button, you do have electric assist. It's on the medium speed setting. You can see the amount of room that we're working with with the third row up, and that's what makes the CX-9 so flexible. So you're looking at 14.4 cubic feet of space, plenty of room for a stroller, for your carry-ons. You fold the seats down, you're going up to 71.2 cubic feet of space. So to put the seats down, I actually like this system. Instead of having buttons, instead of having to wait for the motors to go and all that, it's real easy. You're just gonna find the lever, which is right here. You're gonna drop it down. As soon as you push down like that, headrest goes down, boom. That's it. You ready for the next one? How do we do it? We take this, goes down, Boom, look at that, nice and flat. Underneath here, you do have some storage. So think about it, if you have your kid's birthday coming up and they tend to find the presents in, in your house, hide them in here. Unless they're driving the CX-9, which if they're the, under the age of 16, they probably shouldn't probably be driving this, at least alone. Hide them under here, they'll never find it. Or don't even tell them about the storage. Now, the better news is you're probably saying, well, Joe, how do I get the seats to come up? Real simple. You don't need straps, you don't need clips, you don't need a motor, you don't need anything. You just need your hands. That's all you need. And you don't even, you don't even need two, you just need one. Boom, look at this, same hand. Look at that, ready to rock and roll. Speaking of rock and rolling, all wheel drive and a turbocharged engine, you know what time it is. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take the CX-9 for a spin. All right guys, we just left my backyard. We're in the CX-9, right away, it's crazy because like I pointed out in other Mazda reviews, they are doing something that nobody else is doing. And what they're doing is they're creating a premium brand within their own brand. This vehicle feels like it should be like a Mazda squared or something like that, Mazda 2.0, because it feels so premium in here with all the wonderful leather and all the wonderful finishes. Let me go ahead and clean the windshield a little bit since it's a little bit of a, the sun's coming down. But you have that wonderful nine inch display. It, listen, if you have not been in one of these, you need to get in here because I'm telling you, if you're saying, well, that's an iPad style, I hate those. It's very, very low. It's almost totally out of the way. It'd be kind of cool if you could push a button and just drop it down and only use it when you want it, but still not bad. The head up display tells you what the speed limit is tells you what speed you're going. Really nice setup, really clean. Steering feedback, even going slow on this road here, you could feel that there's something a little bit extra special when you're behind the wheel of any Mazda product, whether it's a CX-3, CX-5, CX-9. And this is where 
some of the other manufacturers are dropping the ball. They have lots of great features. They have a good looking product. But what about the driving aspect of it? Think about where are you 100% of the time when you're driving, you're behind the wheel. And it's like with what Maz is doing, and as you can see, typical Florida drivers here, but with what Maz is doing is they're making that enjoyment priority as you're driving down the road. Layout of the gauges makes sense. When you're in here, you might think, okay, I feel a little cramped. Well, guess what? It's actually, I actually like having this nice and high. It, it makes me feel like I'm in something a little bit different than your typical three row SUV. All wheel drive protection. So if you're living anywhere where the weather is very, um, very bad at times, whether it be snow or rain, this CX-9 is gonna help you stick to the road very, very easily. And I'm gonna show you just from a performance standpoint, how capable this CX-9 is. So on throttle, six speed drops down. I like the sound I'm getting. Good shifts on the brakes. Great feedback from the brake pedal. Turning is nice and crisp on throttle. Little bit of a pivot there helps us square off the corner and then we're off. That's how great this car, this SUV drives. This isn't a car, it's an SUV. Look how we carry nice momentum through this bend. Super smooth, I like the weight of the steering. I don't even have it in sport mode right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport mode. That's gonna change the characteristics of how the transmission shifts, the steering feel, and I love the, the feedback. The weight is great, on the brakes, feeling good. Very nice, look at this, Hold, holds the line. And that's the thing is you don't feel like you're in a large vehicle. It feels like as soon as you hit that start button, it shrinks around you and is gonna drive so much differently than any other competition. We're on the highway right now. We're doing about 60, 65 miles an hour. You can see just how smooth this CX-9 Signature Series drives and rides fairly quiet from wind noise, but the key word is smooth. Smooth and comfortable, and the finishes are just outstanding. But even over the different pavement, it rides great and feels really, really good. The best part is, whether the road's going straight or twisty, this real, this CX-9 is really the one that You're driving slow, the way the transmission shifts is very nice and smooth. You don't need a 20-speed gearbox. The armrests are wonderful. Somebody actually commented, hey Joe, you're always zonking armrests? Not these. Whoever commented on that, not these armrests. These armrests are wonderful. Let's go ahead and try this out one more time to show off the handling on throttle. Good shifts, good feedback in sport mode, on the brakes. Brakes feel good, look at that, nice and straight. Turn in is crisp, back on throttle. All wheel drive, doing the business. Ventilated seats keep my, keep my butt cool, as it should. Really nice, look at this. Great control from front to back, holds a line, so wonderful, so smooth. The proof is definitely in the eating of the pudding. You gotta drive one of these CX-9s. Don't just run to one of the other brands, dealerships to go buy because you heard of what's going on. Obviously, um, in Florida, like I said, you, it's never a dull moment on Rady's Rides. Never a dull moment. Actually, I'm gonna go straight here. Let me go straight. We haven't gone straight down this road. Over this bump, nice. Look at this. Look at this. This is nice. Nice little flow here going on. Got the flow, Joe. Look at this. So very, very compliant, very confident, inspiring. And just think what it would be like on your normal commute, where you're just on that highway, driving smooth, feeling good. That mid row, your passenger's gonna be loving. I would like them to have ventilated seats. That's the gift that I would like to give to everybody in the middle row of a CX-9. But overall, this package is, uh, is quite a barn burner here. But we're gonna go ahead, wrap this one up. Before we do though, let's talk about cameras. 
Check this out. Sitting here at the stop sign, you got your 360 degree camera out front. It's a little grainy. Actually, it's a lot grainy, but it's nice to have that type of tech. Although when you look at some of the competitors, their cameras are better quality and have a clearer picture. So that is a really, really nice overall touch and stuff. And you get back to your setup there. So real easy to use and that's the wonderful thing. But we're gonna go ahead, get back to my backyard and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another wonderful day with this Mazda CX-9. I definitely gotta thank everybody at Mazda for allowing us access to this CX-9 press fleet vehicle. We started with a question. How does this stack up against that midsize SUV competition? I'm definitely gonna say if you want a midsize SUV that has style, that has a shade of color that just knocks them dead every time you roll into a parking lot, that drives like it's a Mazda 3 with a turbo and has some really wonderful interior features, I think the decision has already been made. The CX-9 definitely brings the A-game to the Palisade, to the Telluride, the Explorer, and everybody else that's in this segment, because I'm telling you, it's a crowded segment, lots of value, and that driving enjoyment. But if it's vehicles like these that you want to see on Radies Rise, these three-row SUVs, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee. He's actually liking this CX-9. He wants to have a family ASAP just so he could go out and get one. So thank you, Tom, for all that you're gonna do to make that happen. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.